Congress. I would like to discuss the matter of my several months old complaint with the Seacaucus PD. As you remember, I told you Captain Buckley refused to give me a copy of the complaint I signed. So to this date, I have no record of it. I requested that at least a compromise it. Uh, and supply you with the copy, but you have either been unwilling or not unable to do this. It is my understanding that town government has some oversight over the police and that they are not an autonomous body, but that like the president, you could be considered the commander in chief of the SDD. Then what is the cause of this impediment? I believe this town is intimidated by the Seacoggins Police Department. And why? The police have the power of discretion to perform or not perform their duties, prioritize as they deem necessary. The police in this town are legally constituted no different than anywhere else in the state, Newark, and Patterson, and Jersey City. Yet their performances are quite antithetical to these other municipalities. While I was in Kearney Hudson County Correctional Center, I saw young people from all over Hudson County. Mostly I determined on drug-related issues, but not one from sequel. I guess we are blessed. Or could it be that there's a gentleman's agreement or modus vivendi between the Seacoggins PD and town government. We townspeople voters have two overriding priorities ourselves. We want our children to finish their education here with a clean police record, and we don't have a want to bad publicity for our fair firm, which would adversely affect our property values. In a way, we are asking a lot of the SPD, and they've been very generous to our town. But like any other interest group, this is not without a quick pro quo. Has anyone noticed that we have the best paid PD and also the lowest crime rate in the county. Definitely a plum job. But I'm sure periodically there could be disagreements or possibly even just to show what could happen if the town government did this please them, they might wish to flex their muscles. Everyone recalls the big ticket we had over handicapped people parking in the wrong handicapped stops. Small cars accidentally parked in damp spots. Kiss, kiss. Hardly anything that required the SPD to go down there and start ticketing these people with a $200 50 fine, and certainly an action that would not happen without serious reflection at the highest level in the SPD. The resulting scandal reported in the sequel was reported by Andrea and Ron May Fernandez was the major precipitator in the departure of Judge Walter. So we can see the ramifications of even a negligible disturbance in our small town's politics. I believe that what has happened to me is that I've become the object of special handling by the Seacoggins Police Department, especially since without any conviction, I've already spent 44 days in Kearney, 30 in Jersey City Hospital psych wards, and another 60 in Meadowview. And when Judge Walbert released me, I did not even receive an apology, but an admonishment to stay in the town for at least a year or else. And yet with a complete awareness of this history and given a fresh opportunity, the SPD decided to saw exercise the harshest regime on me. They said with they said it with a passion resulting in me spending another week in Hudson County Correction wants to do. Secondly, on Friday, September twenty eighth, I attended the SPD's PDA function. When I first arrived I was somewhat surprised that I saw no one sitting up here tonight there, mayor or council person. But when I saw the entertainment presented, I had little doubt why all of you exercised such caution by refraining from an appearance and association with the comedic performances I witnessed. There were no jokes per se, just a barrage of foul mouthed inventions of people of different ethnic backgrounds and sexual orientations, most more appropriate for a biker gang or a raunchy bar. Such language and perspective that I would to say are antithetical to the perspective to the progressive consensus of most residents of this town. Are we not even under court order to engage in sensitivity training after what happened in the firehouse in the North End? Perhaps the SBD, by sponsoring such comedians at this function, was saying, sensitivity training, that's for girly men. At one point, out of misplaced sense of politeness, one comedian, seeing my beardy mean, asked my permission to tell a Jewish joke. Sure, I said. In this forum, I will not repeat what was said without your express permission, but it was a crude sexual slander on Jewish women and not any more applicable in this context to ours any more than any other group. I sense so that this was not an error, but explicitly directed to me as a fine, you came here to see where we are at, and now you have some hit the road with the traditional invective there but unspoken. We know that humor, which is what they call this, 
really is quite serious business. If you had your ethnic background or sexual orientation demeaned and denigrated, and you've just been publicly mocked and laughed at, you feel marginalized, and it has a chilling effect on your participation in public life. Not that I should be alone in this comedian's contempt, because they all, all also managed to disrespect everyone here, although you were not there to check. You know how some of us take a great deal of pride in our arts degree and springs academic accomplishments with those I am proud, I'm a proud parent bumper stickers. Well, they have one of their own. My son banged your honor student's math teacher. I brought it with me tonight. I left a copy up there with you, Mike. They spent a good deal of time in a lascivious discussion of female teachers having sex with their underage wards. This behavior is not only wrong, but is also illegal. But we could deduct from the SBT sanction to make such comments publicly at their function that they really see no problem with this, but actually think it's kind of cool. When I moved out into the rest of Hudson County, I've always carried around with me the attitude that somehow Seacaucus is better than Shining City on the Hill. Live and learn. This is, this is the uh, bumper sticker. You know, I, I put it out here so people, many people look. People looked at it and went, what is this? Nobody picked it up, or few, few people picked it up. But this is what's sitting out there. This is what the they presents. Give me, give me the opportunity, and I'm not going to comment. Um, obviously, you still have no comment on it. Yeah, I'm not going to make any comments on your complaint. But just, just to clarify a little bit. I'm glad you take it so seriously that you won't even comment. Uh, well, this is, we not, this is not the form. Let me finish. I, I can uh, This yeah. is not the form of the format or the forum to comment on those items. You still have an active complaint in front of the court. Yeah, I will be here tomorrow morning in this very so place. There will be no comment on anything to do with your complaint. Now, on your comments with regards to the police department, this governing body does not get involved in the day-to-day -day operation of the Sea Caucus Police Department. What you're insinuating is that we do. We don't. We're here. Well, we're, I think you should. Well, we don't, and that's against the law to do that. And we no, I know because what they would do if you did anything, Mr. Clark, they would say you're retaliating. You had, you had, you had you no. Know, you, you wouldn't dare do it because they would really retaliate. All right, if you're going to keep talking, I'm just going to stop. So if you're going to allow me to, to finish, then I'll finish. But we don't get involved, and we don't get involved in the court whatsoever. That's number one. So we're what I understand. Let me finish, please. But you're saying we have the best and the lowest crime rate. It's true, because we have the best police department and the lowest crime rate in the county, and we pride ourselves on that. When you talk about handicap tickets, they're not issued by police in most cases. They're issued by parking enforcement officers. And we have an obligation, if someone's parked in a handicapped spot, we have an obligation to enforce that so that if a person is handicapped, they're allowed to have a place to park. That's what handicap parking it's is about. It's you know, and, and, last, other and, and, the last, and the last thing that you spoke about that I'll address is you spoke about a PBA fundraiser, not the Secaucus Police Department. The PBA is a, an arm or a, a civic or a, what's a better word to put it? Um, is it a, yeah, is it oh, nothing sorry. to do with the Secaucus Police Tickets were purchased at the uh, window of the police department here. So uh, it, it has nothing to do whatsoever with the Secaucus Police Department. So if you attended an event that none of us did, and not for the reason you stated, we just didn't go, quite frankly, um, and you have an issue with that, then you should bring that up with the PBA, not with this governing body, because we have no jurisdiction over the Secaucus PBA. They're not part of our police department, and not covered by this, this governing agency. I wish you luck. I'm always here to talk to, and you know you do talk to me. And I wish you a lot of luck. But with that, thank you okay. for your time.